Hello and welcome to this CBT Nuggets Micro Nugget on Microsoft Account Integration in Windows 8. My name is Tim Warner and I'm happy to be your trainer. First of all, let me say that Microsoft account integration in the Windows 8 operating system is something that businesses are probably not going to use. But for your home computers, your personal systems, your tablets, your laptops, your desktops, this is a really, really great addition to Windows 8. Of course, in a business environment, we'll be using Active Directory user accounts. Now, a Microsoft account is what used to be called a Live ID, and it's going to take a while for Microsoft to port that nomenclature over. Over, you'll still see lots of references to Windows Live ID on their websites and in their applications. But going forward, it's called your Microsoft account. This is a free online identity. And what it is in Windows 8 is we can link our Microsoft account in a Windows 8 installation. It's an optional account logon method. Local accounts are still supported. Obviously, Active Directory domain accounts are as well. But we can, in fact, log in using our Microsoft account. Now, why would we want to do that? The chief advantages of a Microsoft account in Windows 8 is that the Microsoft account provides deep integration with Microsoft shared services, like Windows SkyDrive. Those of you who date back a few years with Microsoft technologies, remember Live Mesh. SkyDrive is essentially the replacement for that. It's a cloud-based file storage system. Office web apps, which are browser-based versions of MS Office applications. Email, photos, movies, Windows Store, which I'll show you in our demo in just a moment. Your app purchases are all tied to your Microsoft account. If you're an iOS or a Mac OS X user, you're obviously familiar with the Apple ID. The Microsoft account is Microsoft's version of the App ID. Here's the really big selling point. You can link up all these shared services on your one Windows 8 computer, but then when you fire up another Windows 8 box or tablet device, you can log in using your Microsoft account there and get synchronization occurring with all of this content. So the idea is you've got transparent access to your stuff no matter which Windows 8 system you happen to be on. Now let me hop into the demo here so I can show you how this works. Well, here we are in Microsoft Windows 8 release preview. So Microsoft is just getting ready to release this to manufacturing. We're pretty late in the development cycle here. We're looking at the Windows start screen with your live tiles. If we look in the upper right corner, we can see a little preview picture. This is my profile picture attached to my Microsoft account, also known as my Windows Live account. Now, if I don't like that picture, you note that I can change the picture, lock the computer, or sign out if I want to. I also want to draw your attention to some of these live tiles that comprise components that are attached to the Microsoft account as well. You see we have our mail account, we have contacts, messaging, calendaring, all of this stuff is tied and syncable, if that's a word, among multiple Windows 8 systems. Now just to show you a typical Metro style app that makes use of the Microsoft account is SkyDrive here, which is, as I said earlier, Microsoft's cloud-based storage system. You see I have some documents, I have some photographs, some content here that is up in the proverbial cloud. Looks like you're seeing one of my favorite computers. You're seeing our dog Mocha when he was a puppy. You're seeing our daughter Zoe when she was pretty much just an infant. And a, like I said, a horrible picture of yours truly. If we bring our mouse to the left border of the screen, we can see our recent applications. I'll come back to start here. Another place where the Microsoft account comes in is the Windows Store, which is Microsoft's version of the Apple App Store. Your payment methods, your downloads are tracked and associated with your Microsoft account and also syncable, capable of being synchronized among all of your Windows 8 devices. Now, if you're wondering where we can create and manage accounts in toggle Microsoft local account settings. We'll want to come to the lower right corner of the screen to invoke the charms bar and in there we'll go down to settings then we'll come down to change PC settings. This is the Windows 8 version of control panel and in PC settings we'll come over to users and it tells us that our saved passwords aren't going to sync until we go through the trust process. We can switch the account from a Microsoft one to a local account, add a user, and when we add a user, that's going to be either a local or a Microsoft account. As you see here, we can just put the email address in of that 
Microsoft account, we can create an account using this link, or we can sign in without a Microsoft account, which creates a local account. I'm going to cancel out of here. And then finally, you'll see over in the PC settings, sync your settings area. This is where Windows 8 gives us full control over what elements of our Microsoft account profile we are going to sync across devices. So there you have it, a nutshell introduction to Microsoft account integration in Windows 8. I hope that this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.